before we get into this video, let's get into my skin. It's just glowing and rejuvenated and healthy and mm, just like this. What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you ain't been here before, I've been here before. 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 I've been here it's driving with me! Clearly <laughs> see, I'm super excited, not only because it's driving with Keith, but just because I just love making driving bills. We can listen to music, we can talk shit, we can just do whatever the f we want, and ain't nobody gonna say shit. Now, you are my family member, you're watching this, we're gonna be getting into some things in this video. Please, uh, click, uh, click the fuck off. People always ask me, what are you gonna do if your parents see your video? I'm not gonna do shit, and neither are they. I'm a grown man, I just turned 20, why, January 24th. Where are my Aquarius babies at? Screaming so fucking much. So for this driving with keys, I actually don't want to just do just driving with keys. Cause you know, I feel like some people do a lot of driving videos and it's like boring as <laughs> no shade, boring as fuck. And I wanted to spice it up a little bit, so I'm like, let me give you guys a driving with keys, show you how like you know roll rage and how easily I get distracted, but then let me also give you guys a story time. You know what I mean? Because you know y'all love seeing my dysfunction and you know how fucking dumb I am. So as you guys can tell by the title, this is a story time about how a married man took advantage of me and dead ass, like not even trying to be dramatic, tried to drug me. And I know that I, I, I don't do like fucked up drugs. Like, you know, I might smoke a little weed, you know, a little, little loud, you know, smoke a little Reggie, no puck, none of that bammer. When it comes to shit like meth, uh, you might actually, uh, yeah, I, I think you might just actually have me fucked up. So, so this story actually happened a few weeks ago. I forget what the guy's name is. It was like HQ or something like that, some DQ or, okay, so, okay, here we go. This is how it, this all happens. Okay, so this story time started off on Grinder. I'll be surprised. All uh, I'd never tell you guys my Grinder hookup stories because I know, I know, I know I'd be in the wrong for some of these. Because it's just like, bitch, why would you do that? You put yourself in a situation and you would have thought like, damn, bitch, like, can, can you not get right? But listen, we're human and we live and we learn. Uh, for some reason, I just haven't found out how to learn uh, too well yet. So I'm on Grinder. I'm looking through and I match with. Okay, so how Grinder works? It's not even like Tinder where you can just right swipe and you match with people. How it works is like there's uh no i'm not giving and first off bitch i'm not doing no promo and so grinder isn't like tinder for all the people who've never been on the app it's actually a uh, very fucking ghetto you know like when you're playing a game and there, like an ad comes up or something like that or let's pretend like you were on like a messaging site but like online so you know it just looks real ghetto real weird like it's in like a beta phase of like development that's what grinder looks like and honestly that's all it needs to be because the app is not for high class bitches Okay. Okay, okay. It's actually just so crazy how I say that and I always find myself going on the app when I want um my booty ache. Grinder isn't an app where you can just right swipe people or left swipe or whatever if you don't want them and then you find a match. Like no, if a bitch wanna hit you up, a bitch gonna tap that fucking little fire symbol and you can see it or some bitches are just bold enough to send you a dick pic. Like it's it's really fucked up, not gonna lie. Looking through my tabs, you know, a bitch first first off, let's get into a bitch. I'm just I'm just a badass bitch. I'm just a badass bitch. I don't know what to say. When I'm on Grinder, I always have just like flooded tabs. I'm not even trying to be that bitch. But it's just always flooded. So I'm scrolling through and I see this real muscular guy. I'm like, damn. Who the fuck let Bruce Banner on Grinder? You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, so I'm texting him. Da -da -da -da. I was like, while we were texting, he was texting me back quick. And that's not like not normal, but you know, a lot of the people on the app are like DL. Hey, little bitch. Should I call you little bitch? So before I see one of you guys comment, why is your hoodie tucked behind your ear? Well, well, uh, let me go ahead and ask you a question too. Why are you watching this video on a cracked screen and empty stomach? So before the question arrives of what is DL? Well, let me go ahead and explain it to you right now. When there are boys who like boys, but don't want the girls to know that he likes, booty they call it dl which stands for down low so and a lot of people might think that oh no it's not my boyfriend well i so did a lot of the bitches whose man i fuck so so if someone's texting back quick they're probably not hiding the app for anybody because they have the notifications on as i'm texting him he's just texting back really really quick like no matter if i stopped texting for like 30 minutes or an hour or even a day like he was texting back dumb fucking quick and mind you usually how it works is if you're dl you just have like something something dl in it or i'm dl or they just have no name and just have their age and they don't have a picture of their face it'll be no picture or it'll be like a picture zoomed in of something that they took on their camera like something something weird right this person had his two pictures it was his first it was his picture of like i said his muscle like him and like this like uh white beater and it had like his muscle like oh oh 
Oh my god, I was ready to suck the skin off that meat. Just real buff, real cute face and all. And then the next picture was a full body picture. It was just a little further back and it was face and all. And I, I know that some people know that like Grinder is a hookup app. So he didn't put his name. He had like two he had two initials. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. I am 20 years old. The guy was like 30, like 233. Stupid. I'm really just dumb as fuck. Like, I really think that this boy tried to kill me once another sneaky link. That's a whole different story time for a whole different time. If you want that story time, let me know. But anywho, so I finally get build up the courage to meet this nigga, and I'm not gonna lie, I, um, um, it takes a while for me to do it just because I'm just so scary like putting like plastic in your butt and then the, having to shit it out until it comes clear like it was just not it just it just wasn't on my agenda and I haven't had like sex in a very 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 long time you know what I mean coochie uh, did have some cobwebs when I told him we were originally supposed to meet at 9, that's when I had started like cleaning myself out. I didn't end up leaving to him until like maybe like literally not been lying like 10 40. so oh and also it didn't take me an hour and 40 minutes to finish like doing what i had to do but he like lagged for the first time ever and i was like yo what the fuck is like what, what the fuck is his problem so and i was kind of irritated because it's like now that you find i'm giving you the opportunity you know to play in my coochie mind you did all this prepping and shit like that like i was like no nah, nigga we fucking he finally texted me back like 40 minutes later and was like yo like okay what's up like Da -da -da -da, we finally get planned. He tells me where to meet him. I'm like, cool. I'm on my way over there. I'm on the phone with Ricky and Rashid. And I was like, y'all, like, I'm low-key kind of nervous. Like, because, like I say, it's been so long since I, like, had intercourse. So I was just like, mm, I don't know. Like, I was just, I thought it was just really, like, butterflies because I knew I was about to do the deed. And not butterflies because I knew I was um, in danger. Because, like I said, you know, when you be a little horny, you don't know. You know, the sneaky linkage, it's like, okay, yeah, he might slit my throat. But I'm going to get some dick. Yeah, he might rob me. But, hey. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some head. He gonna eat my booty. Rashid kept telling me like, Keys, do not go, do not go, do not go, do not go. And I'm like, nah, bitch, I'ma go. Mind you, like I said, it was hella foggy the night. So when I was supposed to film this video, the story time before the next day, hella foggy. And that night, it was even more foggy. And on the way there, like literally the way to get there, the fast way there, there was a car accident. And Rashid was like, Keys, see, that's the first time you should have went. And I was like, mm, maybe. But you know, God likes to send signs in three. Next time, when it was just got hella foggy, like I could barely see. I had to drive like. 10 miles per hour car was like bro like i cannot see mind you i'm this, i'm putting my life on the line for a, some dick so then the very last sign was i never and i almost never miss like my turns and stuff when i have to go places but i missed like i literally missed missed a turn like five different times and when she was like see bitch you're not supposed to go that stinky link like god does not want you there the universe does not want you there and i was like i right, bitch well you know what god does forgive us for our sins so and i was just kind of thinking like damn maybe that is right like i don't need to go but i wanted my booty ache. i'm like i don't care what they're talking about at this point i'm already almost here like i might as well just keep going you know i was only like five minutes away so i pull up to the location and i see the guy in his car right it was like this truck uh no no it was a, a jeep it, i know it was a jeep Wrangler. i'm gonna tell you why so it was in a jeep and he pulled off and he texted me on the app like follow me and i'm like what you mean follow you as I'm following him, bitch, he's taking me, like, he hits, like, three cuts, like, he takes, like, three turns, and that's how I, I was like, oh, like, you, you do this a lot, like, because the, the designated area that he had us going to was nothing but, like, um, like, just gravel. Like, you guys know when you go into, like, parking lots or something, and there's nothing but, like, little tiny rocks on the floor, and it's just really, like, kind of, like, secluded, I guess, and it was, like, trees all on like the right side but then on, i couldn't really see like that was what was on the left side because it was mind you it's dark at this point this is why ted bunny would have had a field day with me bitch i would have been downstairs fighting for my life he kind of does like a little turnaround type of thing and i'm like yo what if i get in his car and we start bucking and he just pull off or what if someone just slashed my tires or some and then they put like a track in the box like i just started thinking of weird shit and mind you i never usually do this but i'm just nervous because i'm like yo like this is one of, I'm just extra nervous because it's like one of my first times having sex again in a very long time. Hence the cobwebs in my coochie. And while I'm going to his car, so you know when like you open a car door and the lights turn on? He got out from the driver's seat to go into the back seat and the trunk to like one, you can see the trunk of the car like because it was a Jeep, right? This nigga had pillows and covers, like not just covers, like like bed covers, like blankets, my nigga, like big ass comforters. Just lying down waiting for me. I'm like, oh shit, nigga, you got, 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 you
I knew I forgot something. So when we were texting, remember when I told you guys that he had like lagged for a little bit and didn't come back and then he just randomly started texting? Before that, we had gotten into like a little mini argument just because he had asked me for nudes and okay, bitch, now you try to let them go. Now you fucking up what I got going on. He had asked me to send him nudes and I like, clearly I don't send nudes no more just because I'm an influencer and I would hate for some booty hole to be on Twitter. I'm just like, oh no, like I can't. And usually I never tell people that I'm an influencer just because like, it's, none, it's really none of their business. It's nothing to brag about. Like, you're, bitch, I just, my job is different from yours. But I didn't care this time just because he was an older guy. Like, I was just like, you know, they don't really, you know, I didn't think he was going to even pay attention to that. He's like, oh, I understand. Like, you're, you're, you do your job on the internet, so you just can't afford that risk. But I was gagged because he was like, oh, da -da -da -da, you're an influencer. I'm an influencer too. Da -da -da. I do Instagram and uh, Twitter. And I'm like, oh, really? So I'm like, what's your Instagram? And he ignored the question. So when he added me on snap oh bitch see look i literally forgot so we weren't even texting and this is another reason why i didn't think he was dl because he actually told me to add him on snapchat and dl niggas like anybody who's gay knows that on grinder they do not share their information with you and they'd be like what's your number they usually like block you like basically like star 69 the number and then call you because they do not want their identity shown so you got your pictures you got two pictures at that of your full face and body and then he asked me to put him on snapchat so i was like okay cool whatever so when he asked me to put him on snapchat it kind of just confirmed to me like okay no he's really not dl he doesn't want people in his business he doesn't want people to know his name which is perfectly fine because i don't even tell people that um my name is keys i use a whole other name when he was like he's an influencer he got all these followers da -da -da. he was like he has like 25k on twitter 50k on instagram i searched up his name on snapchat and i knew it was his name because remember i told you that his um initials on grinder were hq his username for snapchat was a name the first name was start with an h and the last name start with a q so i'm like okay this is his name after i searched it up on instagram his instagram showed up and somebody that i follow from a sneaky link from literally years ago followed him and i was like yeah they're fucking like they're fucking so i sent him a screenshot and i'm like this page got 5k like you're a liar da, 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 da. we were just arguing about that and he was just like what do you know about being an influencer you're stuck in washington i was like first off bitch i'm moving to la gag bitch gag bitch you're not looking now you look stupid and he was like why are you moving to la the only reason why you should be moving to california is if you're rich or if you're gonna suck or if you're gonna move to west hollywood and suck some old guy's dick for money and i'm like uh oh aren't you trying to f me like this is not how you this is not chivalry so he asked me he was like oh like i was looking through your snapchat because on my snapchat i have this thing where it has like basically my mutuals like all the ones i've done like collabs with he was just like i was looking through your snapchat you have a friend who's asian and i was like huh i'm like yeah i'm like yeah da -da -da -da. and we're just talking he's just filling on me and stuff and honestly i got pretty comfortable like we didn't did jump into it like he was actually talking to me and he was just like hey sorry about earlier like you know i wasn't trying to be like a like i wasn't trying to be rude he was basically trying to get the point across that he wasn't trying to be a kid they like oh you know i love hollywood and i love la like that's where i'm from but you know i had to leave for some other reasons and i was like oh what's up and he was just like just because you know family stuff and i thought he was talking about his brother and his sister i forgot to mention this i'm gonna mention this now because before we and him like got in the car he was dropping off two people like in the alley and he told me that the alley where the alley ends is kind of like the entrance to his neighborhood sort of so i guess he dropped his brother and his sister off there and then they just walked to his house like it's like right down the street right like right in that neighborhood so i'm like oh, okay like you know he had to leave cali for his family that's up and maybe he just really liked cali and he did not want to fucking leave he told me all this shit i'm like yo why are you telling me your life story like i really don't care like i just want some i just want some and he keeps like it was he was really weird like he kept like kissing my forehead like i'm like nigga we are not dating like he would dead ass be like and i'd be like i'm just like why are you kissing my forehead like that but you know like i said i'm trying to pipe and i didn't have no self-respect and you know honestly i'm not gonna lie other than like the actual part of the sneaky link he was pretty good at like everything like he knew did feel like 100% comfortable at first because he just knew how to give good conversation he knew how to make himself come across as like a cool person he just made me feel really really comfortable i was really in the mood so we start getting into you know first off there's only one hole there's quite literally only one hole and he could not find it like so like let's say it was like my butt is like here he was poking up here i'm like hey 
what are you doing? You know what I mean? And so then I'm like, mm -mm, like lower. And so then he starts going down here. I'm like, mm -mm, higher. Starts finally finding me. I'm like, okay, cool. It's just like your body is not comfortable. It's not gonna let you in. And that's what my body was doing. It was like, uh-uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, like you know, trespassing. So I'm like, okay, like no, like I'm just not feeling it. Like, and I was kind of like, okay, it is dark and foggy. And I've had sneaky links where it's just like, you know, some guys are just really weird and crazy, like in person. I always lie. I, instead of being like, okay, like I don't want to do this, I'm gonna leave. I'm like, oh, let me get in my car and get something. But the only problem was I am butt naked. So I would have to grab all of my clothes and then go into the thing. And I just feel like it would look obvious. So I was like, oh, like, let me go get like some lube for my car. Like I feel like it'll work. And bitch, like what the f Like what the f I'm just like, no, it's just not working. And he just, his mood kind of changes. And he's like, no, oh f I forgot to explain how he tried to fucking drug me. Remember when I told you he was making me feel really comfortable and he was just looking like this stand-up guy. He just seemed really cool. He was asking me shit like, do you want to do this thing called poppers? And I was, uh, someone else on a whole nother stinky link like months earlier asked me that same thing. And I was like, what is that? He was like, basically you just snip this in and it makes you feel like really energized and you just feel really cool. And I was like, absolutely fucking not. Like, it's giving cocaine. <laughs> like, no, I'm not doing that. Why would I take, you don't take random drugs. Like, and, but see, I, but I can take some random dick. That's the pro that's the pro this is the problem right here. But I'm like, no, I'm not taking, like, I'm not doing it. And so he asked me the first time, I was like, no. And he was like, no, it just makes you really, because he could tell I was nervous at first. And he was like, no, it just makes you, like, really comfortable in your body. Just, you know, you feel it in your body. It just makes the whole experience a lot better. And, you know, it does, I would never give you anything that said, he was like, I would never give you anything that would not let you drive home. And I was like, I don't even, like, smoke weed, like, lying to him. So I was like, no, I'm not doing it. He was like, okay, I'm not going to ask you again. But yeah, he just kept going on to explain it i'm like yo like that was another really big turn off and that's why we took forever to even get into like the stuff. so i was like bro like no like i just don't it just hurts and he was like okay he was like just he was like he was like but let me damn bitch my tongue need a defibrillator he was just like okay like 30 seconds 30 seconds and i was like okay so i tried to let him in and then it just hurt like i was like no bro like no and he was like 30 seconds i'll let you count <laughs> and i'm like no like no it's no 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 nigga no and so he was like but we have to hurry up he just kept saying we have to hurry up i'm like why do we have to hurry? you are a grown ass man like why do we have to your siblings are not gonna do anything to you i promise you they're not so i'm like why do we have to hurry up and he just kept ignoring the question so i was like okay whatever we end up switching positions and and before we switched positions like where I was on my side he was asking me he was like oh do you want to do the poppers again I was like no like nigga why do you keep asking me that and then he asked me to do something called crystal and at first I'm like crystal like what the fuck is that I've never heard of that I literally only smoke weed so I'm like what is crystal and he was like it's nothing that makes you like crazy like you know in LA like, he loved bringing up LA like bitch he clearly has some type of weird connection with LA and he was like you know in LA when you see crackheads and da -da 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 -da, like it's nothing like that like it just makes you like this one just makes you feel so good everything all your like all your senses are hiding and I'm like uh fuck no my nigga because bitch I be damn the hell I wake up in the sweatshop and start making the new Jordans like it just wasn't gonna happen but he kept trying to push it again and I was like no that's where that's when I was like no we're not like I at that point I knew we were not gonna have sex. I just had no urge in my body to want to sleep with him anymore because if someone says no to drugs like it means no like it just means no and then I told him I didn't want to fuck like I kept telling you that it hurt and he would just be like come on come on come on and I did want to be like okay I do want to do something but it was just like it just I just wasn't in the mood like like that like how I was at first and he just kept rushing me I'm like yo what the fuck is your problem so at this point I'm like okay now I told you this nigga wasn't as buff as I thought but he still was buff and I was like it's gonna take one time for him to give me one good old right hook and bitch, I'm gonna be laid out. So I had to think about what I was gonna do real precisely. And I was just like, okay, but what is the easiest way to get out of this situation? I was like, can we just do it tomorrow? Like, can I just come over tomorrow? I promise you I'll be ready. Like, I'm just scared that I'm gonna, you know, like, you know, I, I was, if I, I got one more time to stutter on my fucking words. I was like, you know, I just don't know if I'm like all the way clean. I'm just kind of scared. I don't wanna like do anything. He was like, it's fine. You can shit. Like, everybody shits on me. And I was like, mm -hmm. what you mean everybody shits on you? It's normal. We're humans. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm like, yo, yeah, it's done. We are really done now finally get him to be like okay like i'm coming back tomorrow everything's gonna be fine we're gonna fuck tomorrow i was just like i'm sorry da, 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 da. And he was like have you he just starts asking me questions like he just ignored what I, me apologizing and he just asked me a question he was like um how, am i the only uh asian person you've ever fucked with and i was just like he didn't say fuck with but I'm the only one i've ever like done stuff with and i was like okay he's clearly like interested in like weird things so i was like you know, okay, so here's the thing. I started watching Criminal Minds, and you know when Criminal Minds, when you answer certain questions wrong, they ain't like that shit. So I was like, okay, let me be like, no, like, you're the only person. Make him feel special so he don't, you know, chop up my liver and sell me on the black market. I was like, why are you rushing so much? Like, what's going on? Like, you seem like you're in a really big rush. I'm getting my clothes on at this point, right? And he was just like, you know, um, he was like, I have a wife and kids. And my jaw hit the fuck 
fucking floor. I was like, what the fuck do you mean? You have a wife and kids. I'm not I'm not opposed to sleeping with someone that has a kid or anything because it's none of the kids' business, clearly, and your, your parents can do what they want as long as they're separated. But I'm not gonna just go in and break a happy home. Like, no. Like, you know, if he had caught me in like 2019 when I was just real young and ignorant, your wife thinks you're outside running errands right now and you're playing in butt. Like, <laughs> You're playing in booty. Now he, he now his bitch would have been mad I sent him home with I'm not gonna call her a bitch. His 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 baby his his mom his wife she would have been mad I sent him home with a dookie supreme. So after I get my clothes on, I could not get my clothes on like literally fast enough. And I'm like, okay, like I'm about to go. And he was like, wait, 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 wait. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like I'm thinking, is he waiting for someone to come pick me up or something? Like, not take too like that's the only thing that's come in my head. Like, do we not take too long? Like, do we not take long enough for the people who are gonna like try to come kidnap me? Like, get here, like, why does he want me to wait? He was like, I'm really scared of the dark. Ha ha ha, like I'm scared, I can't watch scary movies by myself and i'm like at your big fucking age you you afraid of the dark my nigga do you need a night light in this bitch like so i'm just like uh okay and but mind you i got my phone i'm holding my phone like this because i'm waiting for him to just you know come up at me and boom bitch right there in your face Bop, nigga. so i'm just waiting in there and we're just talking and this is when he starts really giving me his like life story he was like me and my family are actually from la uh, we were, he didn't say he was from there, but he said he was living there. So I assumed that he was from there. And maybe that's why he had such a weird connection with it. Because he kept bringing that up, clearly. And I'm like, oh, okay. He was like, yeah, you know, I had to leave because my wife, something about my, his wife, like, work made her move to Washington. And he had to force himself to be happy because he had kids. And I was like, oh. So now we're getting into some, uh, bitch, I am not a psychiatrist, one, okay? But I had to act like I cared because I'm just like, yo, like, this nigga might slip my throat if I say the wrong thing. So let me be real strategic. So then he asked me to fold up his cup, help him fold up the covers, and I was like, okay. And he kind of did it in the way to where like he had me at the, like the door, like the trunk, and he was kind of where like you could push the seats back up, and you know I could get trapped. And I was like, okay, bitch. Why? He every time he would look down or something, I would try to. I've never been in the back of a jeep, so I'm like, let me try to find the fucking um, handle just in case some shit weird pop, some weird shit pop off, and I gotta you know get crazy. And then he does it. Thankfully, oh, thank you, Lord. Oh my God, I live, I live to see another day, clearly. I asked him before I left, I was like, so like, why do you like mess with guys? Like, what made you just start messing with him? And he got so fucking mad. Like the whole vibe of his answer, like from when he was telling me his backstory about him having kids and da -da -da -da, loving LA and how he had to leave because his wife, like he was just like, because I'm a human and I have feelings. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay then, bitch. Okay, Jeffrey Dahmer. Liz, I was just asking a question. Don't hate me. I know how you girls like to squabble. Like, why are you cheating on your bitch? Like, and I'm not even meaning to call this lady a bitch. Like, cause she's clearly not. I just want, it's just like, what the fuck? Like, this is the fuck. I'm just, uh, you can clearly see that me even telling this story time, I am all over the place. Cause it's just like, so many factors go into him being a horrible person. <laughs> like, you are a horrible fucking person. I guess I'm not married, so I wouldn't know how hard it is, but his kids are gonna grow up thinking that their dad is out, you know, buying Sunny D and toothpaste and drawers and shit. And he's out here playing an anus. Like, sir, you're out here playing in a man, a grown man's booty. And your wife is waiting and touching herself, waiting for you to get home. So I get out the car, you know, after, and I remember I called Ricky and Rashid stupid quick. And I'm like, bitch, I got some tea to tell y'all. And they're just like, okay, like, what the? And I tell them the story. I tell them what I just told y'all. And he calls me again on Snapchat. And he was like, did I, uh, he was like, did I, did you take my cock ring? Like, nigga, no, where are your kids? Like, focus, you were focused on the wrong shit. But now I was thinking, like, because, you know, if it, if it's female see that shit, she gonna be like, what the fuck is, what the fuck is going on? Who was you fucking? You know what I mean? And probably in her name. I bet you that, I, how much y'all would I bet that car in her name? I almost can guarantee it, to be honest. So, I clearly told him, no, like, who just takes someone else's cock ring? Like, it's kind of nasty, to be honest. And then the next day, I, I forgot that I even had this nigga on Snapchat, to be honest. Cause I really don't use Snapchat like that. Da -da -da -da, I'm texting this, um, I'm texting my friend, and I get a, you know how Snapchat tells you when someone is typing, someone is typing, and someone, like, sent you a message. So, I'm on my phone, why do I see this man typing again? I'm like, absolutely fucking not. Block him on Snapchat, and I just left it at that, and I haven't talked to him since, and boom. So I tell my friend Nita the story, and I'm like, yeah, girl, woo -dee, woo -dee, woo. I'm like, yeah, girl, da -da -da, this shit happened, this shit happened. And as I'm telling her the story, I'm like, I wonder what Crystal is. So then I Google it. Why is Crystal Crystal fucking meth? This nigga was about to make me take methamphetamine, and I know, I know it was some weird shit. When I told you, when I was on that other sneaky link, the guy had the poppers in like this little bottle, and you just, you sniff it, and then you like, kind of, it's kind of like an eye drop type of thing, but you sniff it, and you're done. This nigga had like, 
a little pipe sort of like you know like how when people be having like you, let's pretend you and your college friends were smoking outside and you have the little tiny pipe and you light the bottom and you know you smoke out of it that's what his was like and i was like what is that and i'm thinking he must be smoking weed but i didn't smell no loud and i'm like if he is smoking that shit is straight puck <laughs> No loud, bitch, you're not getting high for days. Bitch, you're getting high for seconds. Mind you, he's going home to his family. Like, he's going, he is going home from basically sleeping with a man to kiss his kids to goodnight. Like, it, it just made me feel like a bad person because I was just like, damn, like, I, I probably should have seen the red flags. But then at the same time, if you don't want your family to know what you're doing and you don't want your family to, like, you know, know that you're, you know, closeted or whatever the fuck you are, why would you go on an app for gay people with two pictures of your fucking face and then have the nerve to make the name of the profile your your initials for your first and last name it just, it just didn't make no sense to me but maybe maybe that's just me you know what i mean so yeah i blocked that man and i never did it again and i um honestly haven't i honestly haven't like okay i'm not gonna lie i did try to have sex yesterday but i it just like i don't know after that experience my just my my sex drive just really isn't there to be honest i'm not gonna lie it's really not there and that is the story time about how i um that's the story time about how i you know fucked a married man almost got drunk and then i didn't like so like i just don't want y'all to be like damn case you fucking up families like no i wasn't trying and yeah that's it i hope y'all enjoyed the story time <laughs> um before we do the story time i felt like we should just i don't know let's fuck with ricky Bro, I just got in a fucking car accident. I know you would never call me and look like that and get in a car accident. I just know you would never. You would not be that calm. You would not have called me, and you would not have called me right after the accident. You would be like, oh my you just got in a fucking car, bro. Oh my god, bro. And then you're stupid. <laughs> bro, Ricky, I'm not playing. <laughs> Not I'm not fucking, bro, I'm not fucking playing with you all the time. Like, you t I don't know what to do, bitch. I'm scared. I told him I don't have any insurance, and they said they're calling the police, bro. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. you are you <laughs> i clearly play too much you know what i'm about to stop playing with y'all i'm about to just dead ass and stop playing with y'all and one day y'all just gonna gag when i'm y'all just gonna i'm just gonna gag you bitches for real <laughs> all right y'all that's the end of this today's video I, oh shit i hope y'all enjoyed today's video uh it was a lot clearly that went on i'm so happy if you stayed this long in the video go ahead and comment keys where the fuck is your comment sense where, Cause that's a good question. That's where I should be asking myself, to be honest. Where is your common sense? Because it's out the door. And go ahead and follow my Instagram. Also, I have my Discord server link in the comments or in the bio. In the uh, fuck. See, there go that tongue fighting me again. I have my Discord link in the description. So if you guys want to talk to me every day and you know talk to me on the phone, we have we do video chats in there. We be getting lit. So if you're boring, then you don't gotta join. But if you ain't boring, then go ahead and join and yeah if you want to see my face every single day follow me on instagram follow me on snapchat follow me on twitter and tiktok if you don't follow me on there and i love you guys so much i'll see you guys next time uh yeah bye